There's no better feeling than being self-sufficient and in this newly released early access survival game, The Planet Crafter, our job is to terraform an entire planet alone. We're going to begin on a survivor difficulty and uh, I did check this game out just briefly before so I've got a rough idea of what we need to do. So our challenge begins in this little crashed life pod. And we've got a message here to say that our mission is to advance the terraformation process of this world, generate O2 heat and atmospheric pressure. We've got this little mining tool here that's going to enable us to grab all of the resources that we're going to need to be able to do that. And I had a brief go on this just before. It looks like we've crashed in a similar place to where I was. So I've got an idea where I want to set up our first base. Now in the top left hand corner we've got a list of jobs that we've just got to get done first. We need to make ourselves a backpack and we need an O2 tank because at the moment we can't wander too far away from our little crashed life pod. So let's grab some more of this iron and as you can see there we're already running out of oxygen so we're kind of just stuck in this area for the time being. So we're just going to use this crafting or fabricator or replicator rather to make ourselves a backpack and we need to make an o2 tank as well so the backpack that gives us an extra four slots and i'm going to go and grab a few more things so we can make that o2 tank and that's going to allow us to wander out a little bit further so when i was playing this before like i say i got very much subnautica vibes and because we have crashed in a similar place, I've got an idea of where we want to set up. Now, there's a little cave just up ahead of us and I think that might be a good place to be because th although there isn't any alien life on this planet, we do get asteroid impacts and sandstorms. So I figured that the protection of the cave might be a good place to begin build our first base. So let's get this O2 tank crafted and that gives us an extra 4502 and next we need to do our constructor tool so we'll get that built we need a little bit more iron to do that so yeah i was really really enjoying this before and i say it has just released in early access but there is quite a large part of the game here and we're going to do our best to complete what we can just grab a little bit more O2. We need to get some cobalt and I'm going to make a few oxygen tanks up just so we can wander a little bit further away from this starting location. I'm going to head out towards that cave. Okay, so let's just get our little construction tool crafted. We need some silicon and magnesium to do that. And this just attaches to our little mining tool. So we did crash with a few survival things here. I've got some O2. I've got most of the resources that we need to be able to craft our first living quarters. So I'm just going to head on up here. Now, over this planet, there are various crash ships. I'm not actually sure if that's part of the ship that we came in on or how that's going to work, but there's other resources and things to find in the derelict spacecraft and just there you can see there's one over to our right but I want to head towards this cave just up in front of us here I think that's going to give us some protection so we're just about to run out of oxygen which is why I crafted up some of these O2 tanks now we can replenish our O2 and I think this is going to be a good place to begin so we've got that crashed ship that we need to explore just over there and guessing that if we build inside this cave we're going to be protected from the asteroid impacts. I'm not sure if they actually damage your bases or not but this area was quite close to where we spawned in at and we'll just come up the top here. Looks like a relatively flat space as well to begin building in and quite a few resources spread out around this cave as well okay now just there there's a giant block of ice and I'm assuming that we're going to be able to melt that and get through that area at some point 
Looks like we've got ourselves a supply crate here. A little bit of food and some more advanced resources in there. Okay, so let's make our first living quarters. Shove that down just here and we need to make ourselves a door. Oh, and it looks like we're short of some silicon. Um, just to top up our tank here. See if we can find some silicon. And we got here iron, cobalt, magnesium, titanium. Hopefully there's some silicon around here somewhere. There we go, silicon. So we've got this giant ice block here and I'm assuming that we're going to be able to melt that at some point. Once the planet heats up a little bit. And grab this titanium as well. Now, we're going to need to become self-sufficient at some point. At the moment, we're just relying on stuff that we can salvage. Okay, so we've managed to top up our O2 tank and we've got our first little living quarters down. Going to make it a little bit larger. Stick another part on the side here. Give us a little bit more space to work with. Okay, so this is our new home. Okay, so I need to get a storage crate down and we're also going to need to make ourselves a crafting station. So let's just shove that here and just go just here. Oh, I think I've placed it the wrong way around and I'm going to need to make our deconstruction tool so I can just turn that round. Um, We'll go and grab a few more resources. And what have we got in here? We've got some aluminium, a bit of iron, and some food. I'll just leave that there for now. Okay, so I've got what we need to be able to make that deconstruction tool. A little bit of silicon and magnesium. And if we attach that, I can just pick this back up. And we do get all of the resources back, actually, for picking it up. So we didn't lose anything for doing that, which is quite handy. We didn't pay any penalties, but we'll just have it facing the correct way. Otherwise, my OCD will go off. And I'm going to need to make a few oxygen capsules. And we will head back to our life pod to gather some of them resources that we crashed with as well. Okay, let's put a wind turbine down so we can get some power going. I'm assuming they're going to work inside here. Yep. Okay, so we've got some power. Okay, next it's asking us to place down a drill. And that's going to start terraforming the planet. As you can see in the top right hand corner there, that number's now going up. The terraforming process has begun. And I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. Stick another section onto our base. Things are starting to come together now. Okay, so another storage chest. I'll we'll drop some more of this stuff off. And we can now craft a bigger O2 tank. So I want to get that done as soon as we can. We need some magnesium, cobalt and silicon. So I'm going to go and grab that stuff so we can wander a little bit further out. Okay, so we can now construct a second O2 tank. I'll just take this one off and upgrade this to the second version of it. And that's going to give us a little bit more O2. In fact, 200 O2. So that's double what we actually started with. I've gone back to our life pod and grabbed them resources as well. So next task is we need to craft a heater and we need some iridium and a little bit of iron. Is it titanium as well? I'll just I'll just grab that in our inventory as well. Put this heater down. Okay. Looks like we place it on the inside of the building. Don't think it goes outside, no. Nope. Okay. Just gonna put it down. Somewhere neatly in this corner here. It's going to start generating heat and heat up the planet. Let's shut our power down at the same time. Okay, so we're going to need to put another wind turbine down. And there we 
we go. Got power back. Fantastic. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is it's asking us to craft a veggie tube. So we just need a bit of ice to do that. I've got some ice here. Okay, stick one of them down. This is going to start generating O2, I guess. And we did crash land with a seed. Yes, we'll shove that in here. There we go. Starting to generate O2. Got a couple of more things it wants us to do. Craft a couple of screens here. Some information screens. Okay. From the sounds of it, looks like we've got our first storm incoming. Let's grab these resources. Oh, and it sounds like an asteroid storm. So, that's one of the reasons I thought that building in this cave might be a good idea. Um, just take some water. I'm going to craft a desk so we can put these screens on top of the desk and keep it nice and neat. So we'll just shove that in around here. Although these asteroid impacts are making it a little bit difficult. Okay, so we need a blueprints screen. We'll get that one down first. And we've got some silicon. Grab all of that. shove that just on top of the desk just here if it'll stop shaking there we go oh and that shut our power down so we need to get another wind turbine down there we go one more should do it somewhere here just fit it in somewhere around here stop shaking around the place Okay, so that's our blueprint screen. We can unlock some new blueprints and upgrades. And we want this energy screen down as well. We're slowly ticking off our first objectives. And there we go. We can see how much extra available power there is. And there's also this big screen here as well. Where am I going to shove this? Try and get it on this wall. Um, it's too big to fit on the desk. Um, can I get it on this side of the wall? I think it's probably be best if we shove it there. Um, could shove it behind our storage chests, although we're probably going to be able to upgrade our storage chests. So yeah, we'll shove it here. Okay, so there we go. It tells us how much oxygen and heat and pressure that we're gener generating currently. Okay. So, let's grab some of these oxygen capsules. And I just need to eat something. I think I'm going to craft a few of these oxygen capsules so we can venture on out. Go and check out one of them derelict spacecrafts. Just need to get a little bit more cobalt to do that. So I've got plenty of O2. Let's head on out to one of these derelict ships just over here. See what we can find. There's one just in front of us here. Well, it looks like I found a much bigger crash site. I was actually looking for a different ship. I found this one. Um, okay. Uh, I'll just take one of them O2s, and if we put ourselves a living quarters down, we'll have a little outpost. We can raid this derelict ship. And we need to get a door down. Okay, there we go. So if I put a couple of storage chests down in here, we can go just bring everything that we find and just place it in this chest. It'll be easier to come back to then. Okay, now, I didn't actually mean to head towards this ship, I thought we was heading towards that small one just in front of us, this is a, a different one, so we need to use our flashlight, okay, um, 
Deconstruct Rex. Okay, we need our Deconstructor tool out. Um, hopefully find lots of goodies inside here. It looks like we've got to come this way around. This is blocking our path as well. Okay, right, I can see some stuff here. Okay, so there's some more seeds. Right, let's pick them up. We're going to need them. And oh, plenty of good stuff in here. We can also deconstruct these chests. That gives us a little bit of iron back. Have a seed. Okay, looks like we got some more stuff here. Oh, a blueprint chip. Okay, great. Just grab that. I think we're pretty much full. We'll come back and grab them seeds. Looks like there's some more stuff to explore back there. But our inventory's pretty full at the minute. Let's see if we can get back before we have to use one of them O2 tanks up. We can make it. Yeah, we've got enough time. So if I just place this in here, it'll be much easier to grab all of this stuff. And looks like we're going to have to craft another chest. There's a few more seeds in there to grab, looks of it. And just shove that in there. Didn't mean to drop that. Okay. Let's head back in and, and grab the rest of those seeds. We're going to need them. Just going to pick up the rest of these seeds. And that's what we're going to need to be able to create more O2. Looks like we can come up here. Yeah, I can't see anything up there. Okay, I think we've cleared out most of what we need from here. We are going to need to find some seeds so we can grow some food. We haven't actually unlocked the blueprints necessary to do that at the moment. Okay, so I'm getting low on food and water. Didn't manage to find any in there, so I'll just grab some of these. I'm going to leave these seeds behind. We'll take the resources. I'm not actually ready to start growing all of those yet, but... Now that we've got them, they're just outside. On the way back to our habitat, I'm going to grab a little bit of ice because we're getting low on water. And I have some food back at the base. Okay, we've just about made it back in time to make some water. Just requires ice to make the water. And the food and drink bars don't go down too quick. Let's just use this microchip. Yeah, we've unlocked something that will allow us to improve our mining speed. And uh, we've also got solar panels unlocked and this Veggie Tube version 2. So when we head back and grab some more of them seeds, we can craft up a better version of the Veggie Tube. So let's just shove some of these resources back and organise things a little bit better. Because there was another ship that I wanted to go to. I found ourselves a pumpkin seed as well, so we're going to be able to start making our own food at some point. I haven't unlocked what we need to be able to do that just yet. And that's a little bit of space in here. Let's just unload everything. And we'll grab a little bit more cobalt, so we've got some more O2 tanks on us. There's some cobalt just down here. We'll head out to that other crash ship I meant to head out to. It's just over in this direction straight ahead. Okay, so it's a, kind of easy to get lost when the sandstorms come in. But this was the one that I was heading to before. It was just in front of our crashed life pod. I ended up going in the opposite direction. Hopefully we can find a little bit more food in here. So, I don't know if we actually crash landed on this planet and if this was part of our ship or these are just other salvaged wrecks that have landed here. Okay, so I'll just jump over here. Need our flashlight. And... Just get our deconstructor. 
constructor out. Get rid of this. So what we got here. Okay, some more seeds, more food. And it looks like we got some fabric as well. So that's another resource I was wondering how we was going to get. Didn't know if we can craft it. Oh, more fabric, more seeds. Fantastic. Okay, so as you can hear there, we've got a sandstorm coming in. And just deconstruct this so we can get through. Switch our tools out, see what else we can find in this little derelict ship here. Stuff to deconstruct. Okay, got a few chests here. Let's see what we've got. Um, more food. I did need some more food. Oh, more fabric, more seeds, and water. I don't think we can grow the seeds just yet. And another microchip. Okay, so we'll have to come back for that stuff just there. I think we've explored this part of the ship. It was only a small ship. Okay, let's head back to our base. It looks like we just missed the sandstorm. Okay, we're just over here. Made it back safe and sound. So, now that I'm finding plenty of these seeds, we'll get another one of them veggie tubes undone. Let's unlock this. Looks like we've got blueprints for some agility boots. Okay. Um, what do we need to craft that? Can make us run faster. Aluminium and fabric. Well, we've just found some fabric, so I guess we'll craft them up. Um, aluminium. There's actually a little bit of aluminium in this cave. So, got another one. That should do it. We'll make our agility boots. It's going to make us run a little bit faster. Okay. So the veggie tube version two. We need ice. So let's make this veggie tube version two. Okay. A bit bigger. Let's just shut down our power. And I guess we can build one of these solar panels now. Uh just need a little bit of silicon. And oh, there's a microchip there I didn't use. Just drink that. Got some silicon there. Hopefully that works inside the cave, because I think this generates a little bit more power than the wind power does. Just shove it out the front, see if that switches everything back on. It does, fantastic. Okay, I'll probably get another one down actually. Yeah, got enough resources to make a second one. Should give us plenty of power. And we'll get our second version of the veggie tube up and running. I can deconstruct that other one. Assuming and we're finding plenty of these seeds. This is what we need to do to create O2 on the planet and just grab this back and I guess we may as well make the better version of the veggie tube rather than them small ones. Uh, we need some ice and silicon. More iron, and here we go, some more silicon. And it looks like we've got another incoming storm. And this time we've got an asteroid storm coming in, so this is why I wanted to build inside the cave. I'm sure we're a little bit more protected inside the cave, but when the asteroids crash down, we don't want to be getting hit by them. I'm just going to grab a little bit of cobalt, so I've got some more O2 tanks to come out with us. The Asteroid impacts do actually bring down resources with them. Let's get inside. Get out of the way. Okay, so let's just put one more of these larger veggie tubes down. And this is helping generate all of the O2 that we're going to need. And we've got plenty of seeds now. I found some food, but we've got no way to grow it at the moment. Okay, so... That's going to bring up our oxygen levels. We, of course, need to improve on the heat and the atmospheric pressure is going up with them mining drills. So we're making progress. I need to go out and gather a few more resources here. Let's get some ice and water crafted up. 
use this coal bolt up to make our O2. And we'll head out and grab some more resources, but things are making progress and I think we're going to leave this episode just here. Do let me know down in the comments what you're thinking of this game so far. Like I say, I'm finding it pretty relaxing and uh, I always enjoy my building, ooh, surviving, crafting games. So we're going to expand on our base in the next episode and venture out further, see what else we can find on this planet. The idea is we need to become more self-sufficient. But let me know in the comments what you think of this game so far. And until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.